Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome. Happy summer. This is our first webinar of the summer. We wanted to meet any of you super busy, so we thought we'd uh, slow down a little bit. But we're really excited to spend 10 minutes with you today talking about duplicate networks. I'm Monica McMahon. Ryan Houston is our resident expert here. He's going to be answering all of my questions today. And this will be available for you afterwards online as well. So let's get started. You ready? Perfect. Ready. Okay. So, Ryan. Monica. What is a duplicate network? So a duplicate network is, as it applies, a duplicate network. But it happens when you have more than one router routing traffic to the same network. Okay. Uh, as we know, there can only be one router per network segment. So each, and for that reason, each network number in a background network needs to be unique. OK. So how does, that, how does this happen? How does this come about? How do you end up in a situation where you have this duplicate network? Valid question. So this happens a few different ways. Uh, normally, when you deploy a site for the very first time, you have a network number list. And you go through and you plan it out, spreadsheet, the whole nine yards. And by doing that, you should never have this problem. It should never exist. But as we know in backnet networks, things change. Other people come onto your site, misconfiguration happens, you merge networks together. All these things contribute to the problem. So some of the top causes of this are product defaults that are changed. It's thrown on the network, change the backnet address, and assume it works. Well, that's not necessarily the case. So there's a misconfiguration problem. Merging sites together, right? Site A, site B have the exact same configuration, but when you put them together, you know you have to do a lot of changes, and you might have just missed one. And then uh, multiple vendors on a site. So there's no actual site owner, and that is causes problems because everyone's tunnel vision to their own individual vendor product and don't necessarily know what's going on with the rest. I'm just going to change my slide here so we can understand what we're looking ah, at. Okay. So as the slide indicates, you've got two routers sitting on the same network, and router one sees all the controllers, router two doesn't. If you reset router two, it will now see all the controllers, and router one won't see this. Oh, great. However, there's an extra little problem in there is the actual controllers that you were trying to see in the first place are also offline. Oh, you're right, because they have no router talking to them. There's no router at all. <laughs> so this is a this is a logical network problem, not a physical network problem. Everything's going to be wired most likely the way you want. But logically, it doesn't have the right path. Okay. So how do you, if we walk into a network, we know there's a bunch of problems. What are some symptoms? How do we recognize and know that this is a problem? The first effect is some of the other entire network will be offline. And, and you'll wonder, why, why is it offline? I connected it to this router. Why isn't it there? So the natural thing is to reset it. So when you reset it, oh, there they come, and they're doing what they want. Hey, wait a second. There's a whole set of controllers up here that went offline. That is, that flip-flopping is a common sign, one of the easiest ways to see it. Um, and so I'm in my network, we're flip-flopping, how do I, what do I do about that? How do I fix it? What are the, my next steps? The easiest way to fix this is if you recognize you have this problem, of course, then go into the network that's currently online and then change it. And once you do that, it will go to the right spot. Your other network that was offline with your other router will come back onto that router and after a router reset and everything will be happy. But always work with the one that's online because that's the known condition. Otherwise, you've got to fight to get the other controllers online. You're not really sure where they are. So it's easier to work with what you have. And of course, our visual backnet tool will show this pretty instantly and it will show you actually more details to do exactly where the problem is. Right. So what I'm hearing from this is that the biggest way that you can solve this is your master plan. Know what networks you're going to have on the site, what network numbers and always um, keep to that plan. If things are going wrong, check that, that you're still adhering to that plan. And that's the biggest piece. Make sure you have that plan. Uh, if you make sure that you have control over that portion of the network, then you can make sure everyone sticks to it. So make sure that when you're servicing and changing these networks, present yourself as the, uh, the top controls contractor. 
everyone has to come through you and in that way you can actually prevent these problems from happening and these can be painful and they take time to resolve but if you can just stop it completely that's always the best way that's the goal okay um this is the network we're looking for <laughs> perfect that looks much nicer no big red x no big red, red x, x. See, see big red x showing up <laughs> red x's are bad okay so basically we've reconfigured it so that router number two is talking to different devices it's, it's on a different network that's correct so router number one is talking to is supposed to based on your drawings router number two is connected to who it's supposed to on its drawings and the two do not cross Great, and those devices that were probably offline are now back online, and we're running, running well. You're off and running, so off now your running. graphics there are going to go. work, everything's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Great, okay. Anything else we need to know about duplicate networks? I think that pretty much covers it. Okay, if we're missing anything, if there's anything that you want to know, um, you can put some questions in the question box. We're happy to answer them. I don't see any questions right now. Hopefully that means that you understand exactly how a duplicate network happens and you're ready to go and fix any that you have, although hopefully none of you have duplicate networks. As always, feel free to use Visual Backnet to find those duplicate networks. It can do it very fast if you're not sure. You have some devices that are offline and you're not sure what's going on. We can definitely help you find those um, devices quickly. Otherwise, you know where to find us. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.